Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be sharing my December daily collections that I will be using for my 2023 December daily. So this will be the fourth year that I use the L Studios collection for my December daily. I am obsessed with these these collections and absolutely love them. So I continue to get them year over year. So let's go ahead and dive in and show you what I got. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the paper pads. So I got three different paper items. Um, and I know it's interesting. I, I have my Halloween um, nails on as I'm doing a December thing. I am actually recording this in October. I don't think I'm going to post it and upload it until November. So, but part of my kickoff to my December daily, I decided that I couldn't wait any longer to and I look in this stuff and open this stuff up. So you will have to just excuse my nails. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and um, open up these piece pa paper pads and then see what's in them. All right. So I got three different paper pads and I'm going to start with the main collection paper pad. So their collection this year was just called Mary. Um, and so let's go ahead and flip through. Um, love this piece. It's beginning to look like Christmas, holiday joy, tis the season, joy, wonder, peace, love. This says Mary and Bright. That's cute. And each of these come with two papers. Now I generally buy two sets of the paper pad, but I have so much paper from El Studio still from last year and the year before that I just decided to buy one paper pad this year. Okay, the next page is this really cute little pine cone, pine leaves. Um, they have a, I still have a journal card. I might actually have two different journal cards that have the same paper or the same pattern. So um, now I have some paper to go with it, which is really cool. And here is just a kind of a little crooked stripe, monochromatic stripe and then a kind of floral leaf plant pattern, a pinstripe, multiple colors. Oh, I like this one with the little sparkle, little sparkle pattern. And of course, the stars. I always love the list. Gotta love the list. I love that it goes all the way to 31. I don't need 31. I'm only going to go to 25 days, but love this. And there's two of those. And then I have a bold stripe, big stripe. And this year they didn't end up using any blue, which I'm kind of happy about because they've used blue in the past. I don't think there's blue in here. Yeah, they used blue in the past and I didn't really like that. Um, so I'm happy to see that there's no blue. Okay, the candy canes. Love this number one. Love, 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 love that. And then this cute little Christmas images. And then these little Christmas trees and some cork board pattern. And this one here that has all the boxes. So those are really cute. And then since we just did those boxes, I went ahead and picked up this one too, this, this separate paper pad or paper pack. Um, and it really just has these, I think it has five of them or six of them. Uh, and I just thought this was really a cool layout, even for like other things that are not Christmas. Um, so yeah, I really liked that layout. I thought that was a cute little layout. And then the other thing I bought was like the grid pattern. So there are three patterns of each. So there's this one that has, um, I like this because it's like you can put stuff here and then like put the title over here. I have some ideas about how I'm gonna use that. And then we have a grid pattern, green, and then we have this list again. And you can kind of, um, I think these, if you cut this, it'll fit into like a thinner pocket page. So yeah, those are the papers that I ended up getting. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the Christmas stickers that I purchased. So I first got this chipboard Christmas number stickers 
And I did end up purchasing also the Allie Edwards uh, felt numbers. I haven't actually received my Allie Edwards as of today, the day I'm filming this. I haven't received my Allie Edwards uh, shipment yet, but I uh, will be including that in this particular video. It'll be all one video. Um, all right, so that is, uh, I'm, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use these ones or if I'm going to use the the combination of these and the felt stickers, but I really just thought these were really cute. I loved the white with the red foil, so I just went ahead and picked those ones up. And then I have the Holiday Magic Pu Puffy stickers. I ended up purchasing two of these. These are just the perfect little things sometimes to add to a layout so I really when I really love I love the gingerbreads houses um, I love the little uh, the little co cocoa cups here and the little cocoa and marshmallows so cute and then I did end up picking up two different alpha stickers now I don't think I actually purchased these I think these might have been a freebie because I don't I don't see myself purchasing these so maybe I did, but I just don't feel like I did. But either way, I have them. So, um, so they're little candy cane uh, puffy stickers. And then I also got the green ones as well. And I really love these stickers because I love the, the, the font is all the same size. So when you're putting it as a title, it's a really nice title um, letters. And then the other thing I bought is these Christmas bait fray stickers. I love, love these. I used these um, last year and I am obsessed with them. I actually ended up buying two of these because I last year I ran out. Um, so I needed to definitely make sure that I had two of them this year. So those are the stickers that I purchased. Okay, so at this point I think I wanna go ahead and open the main um, document December kit love this sticker that's on here. I wish they would sell these stickers like by themselves. Um, not that I, I'm obviously I can cut it out. Um, it is on a plastic thing, but I could cut it out, but I just would love to be able to, and this is a really nice sticker. It's like, um, like velvety, not, not velvety. Um, it feels like a vinyl sticker. I don't know. It's just super cute. And I wish that they would sell them separately um, because I will totally use this in my December daily. All right, so let's get this open. Oh, geez. Can't open it that way. Hold on. Let me open, let me cut it open. So the thing that they did yet this year that they haven't done in the past, which I was really excited about, was they actually ended up, they obviously you could buy the bundle pack, but then you could also buy each of the items separately. Um pretty sure I bought two of the calendars. I'm going to have to check my, um, it's really bent. I'm going to have to check my order because I'm fairly certain I bought two of these calendars, but I'm fairly certain I bought two. So I'm going to have to check on that. All right. So let's look at what we got in the actual collection. So this is the whole kit. Uh, so let's look at the journal cards first. So love this bits and pieces collection. I love that it matches that one paper that I showed you earlier with the boxes. Um, so it kind of has that same feel, but the boxes are a little, they're not square, they're a little bit elongated. And then, and then everything is blank on the other side. So there's just merry and bright um, on my wish list. And I, again, love that it kind of matches that one paper. Let me pull it out. Maybe, possibly. Kind of has the same look as this um, with the little thing on the side. So I just like that um, consist the, the kind of the pattern repeating. Um, okay, and then let's look at the other big ones. Oh, here they also have this, which is like the um, the paper that I showed you. But again, I, I have another journal card that's a three by four that has like this design on it. Um, so. Oh, I'm trying to think I'm think I'm gonna build a page with kind of all of that on there so we'll see how that works 
and then the stripe and then the holiday movie watch list love that card that's that's a fave okay and then it says story from christmas day a moment of and then it says joy wonder peace love love that one with the little ornaments on the side current doing that's the currently list little ho 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 up there in the top that's just a plain one jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way and then another, a currently loving again kind of that repeating graphic pattern a story from christmas eve and then a little bit of holiday magic really cute i love this card it's got little check boxes on the end so it's this season and then check check that apply love that christmas concert little countdown card so cute and then this would be a cute thing to do for like the number so if you did like use this card on like number 20 um or maybe like punched a hole in it or something to signify that it was the card i don't know okay a christmas gathering a magical moment little christmas tree love this one topping on my hot cocoa love that card that's so cute uh traditions on our one of our faves Christmas tree and then Bah Humbug. Okay, so let's look at the uh, different die cuts that came with this. So um, a bear, this is a the die cut tags. I do think, yeah, I bought two of these. So I, so again, like I said before, you could buy the whole kit itself, and then you could buy each of the the pieces separately. So I ended up buying two of those, these, these collections. So they have some really cute, like little long tags, which would be fun to play with. Um, this little star, the heart, holly. This is a merry moment. The little orange. I don't, I'm not really loving the orange. I'm not, I'm not getting the orange. Why do they add the orange? <laughs> like it doesn't really mat match to me, but, um, that's fine. <laughs> uh, and then just that little Christmas or leaf pattern that's from the one of the papers. The little stripe pattern. Candy cane pattern. And then I love this one through five. And then the decorative die cuts. The little hot cocoa is so cute. I love the steam coming out of there. Um, and then we've got a little Christmas tree cookie, a little uh, heart shaped cookie, a little label. There is the uh, holly leaf Christmas ornament, another label. Looks like they have a couple other different little labels too. These little uh, two red colors. And then another green and then the christmas tree the candy cane and then the little um present and then another little cookie star some gingerbread shapes another label there another little uh ornament cookie little present another label another little present I love the bow on that that's so cute and then like a little list that you can make the hot cocoa is adorable so cute and then there's another present another label another ornament the tree in a smaller size a little gingerbread cookie oh they have two of these one's red one's green love that December 2023, gotta have that. And then some more labels. And then another candy cane, which I just dropped. And then the little bell. Okay. 
and I did end up purchasing two of those. <laughs> so, all right. And then I got this Joy Puffy stickers. Hopefully you can see it without the glare. I don't really want to take it out. Um, I love all the little like small stickers on here. Um, sometimes you just need like little tiny things to kind of match stuff and bring some green into a spot spread. So these little stickers would be great. I wish I had a whole sticker sheet of just that. Um, and then we have uh, some of these hearts and pluses and stars and dots. And then this one is Christmas label stickers and it is a blank side on one. Love that. And then the other side has all the little phrases on it. And then there are some number pendant stickers. So green and red. So you can pick which color or you can mix them up. And it does go through one through 31 for each of those. And then there is this alpha sticker that came with the main clip collection. Okay, and then additionally to that, I picked up these O oh Fun die cut uh, stickers. These are just phrase stickers that literally have just like all the phrases that you could possibly want. Merry Christmas. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll just kind of put them out so you can kind of see. Um, I love how, I love the font on them. I love how they have the little border around them. Really cute. Busy Christmas, family photo, family fun. Oh, what fun on the list, blah, blah, blah. So just really, really cute. Homemade. Holiday movie time, tis the season, Christmas favorite. Yeah, really, really, really cute. Very cute. What does this one say? Excited for this. So, and I did end up buying two of those too. I can't remember if one of them was for my sister because my sis I purchased some stuff because my sister asked me to um, purchase some things and put them so we could save on uh, shipping, but not sure. I have to look at our text messages to see. Okay. And then I got this and I'm pretty sure I did not order this. So I think this was also potentially a freebie. Um, cause I definitely do not remember ordering this or maybe I did. You know what? Maybe I did. Cause this is really cute. This seems like something I would order and I love how it matches the die cuts. This is currently making a story from Christmas. Let's bake cookies and then little um, recipe cards. I may have actually purchased this. And then this one, let's see, this one says visiting with Santa and then the little picture there. And then it says, dear Santa. And this one says for Santa milk and cookies. That one, a little ho ho ho, and special delivery from Santa Claus from the North Pole. And then the last but not least, I picked up this pack of die cut hearts. And it just has all these little hearts in it with different um shapes and colors and designs. Really cute. There's some blue added in there, which I'm not sure about that. Like literally this is like the only thing that has like the blue in it. So I'm not really sure why they did that, but whatever. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that was my uh, L Studios collection that I'm going to be using for this 2023 and I'm super excited about it and I cannot wait to start this project. It is one of my favorites. So now what I'm going to end up doing is putting together 
I'm going to go ahead and show you my Allie Edwards stuff. When that arrives, I'll go ahead and add it to the end of this video. Okay, so the next part of this video is going to be my color cast designs collection that I purchased. Um, I do, if you, I do have new Halloween nails on because this is several weeks later that I am filming this, but I wanted to dive in and check this out. So I went ahead and turned on the camera. So here we go. So this is what, these were things from her uh, Mary Everything collection. So I just picked up some pieces that I really thought would add something to my December daily. Okay, oh, I so I also am a subscriber of her monthly collections. So these pieces all, and I know it's really glary, but I don't want to take it out of the bag. But these pieces are all part of the collection. I love the little hearts. Um, and then this is also part of the collection, this little grateful. And then this one that says around the table. Um, so this one is actually in different pieces. So I'm just going to put these back in her bags. And then I'll go ahead and open all of the different parts of the collection that I purchased. And we'll take a look at those. So here's the first one. So I bought these. I like these because they're, they're actually thinner than her normal ones. Um, and I love the little de detail that she put at the on the bottom. So follow law, joy, Mary, and love. Love, love, love these. So this one that says Christmas. And it is two pieces, so you could like do something like this or do it on the side panel. I don't know, I love that. I'm so excited about having that. Um, I think I actually might order another one of those if she has any available, because that one is really cute. And then I ordered two other additional ones. So I ordered this one that says Hot Cocoa. And then I ordered another one that says Puzzle Lover, Puzzle Love. I think I'm going to use this in my January uh, Happy Planner. Because I think I'm going to do like a puzzle theme for that. Um, but then this one's going in my December Daily. Okay, and then the last one that I purchased... Actually, there's, these are two different ones. So I purchased this one. This is my Christmas or my December 2023. The little heart actually goes in the middle here, but I actually don't love that. I actually like it better with the heart, the thing in the middle. So I love that she does them separately. Obviously, it's two different uh, acrylic pieces. So, but now I can use this for something else. And then I have this little December 2023. I thought I would try to figure out how to put that on the outside of the book. So those are, I'm super excited about. Okay, now I am going to show you the couple things that I got from Allie Edwards. I already opened them up. So I went to the scrapbooking expo um, and then the... <laughs> The one I went to, I went to the scrapbooking expo and um, I was out, got like literally about to walk out the door and I had received the package for Mally Edwards. I'm like, yes, because I wanted to work on my December daily at the um, scrapbooking convention. And so I was so excited to receive it. So um, I bought these numbers from her and I am not, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. So honestly, I'm not super happy with this. I feel like this white that she used for these, it's like a really gray toned white. And I just feel like it just doesn't quite work for me. So I did buy two, two sets of numbers because I want to try to use as many as possible because I was super excited about them, but I don't know. I'm going to use them. And I'm going to try to get over the fact that they have like a gray tone. They kind of like in a different light, they kind of look purple and sometimes they look gray. They don't, they're not true white, which I'm disappointed about. So here, this is like, so see, that's what I'm talking about. So this was a couple years ago. She brought these ones. This happens to be the, I think it's supposed to be the zero. I don't know what else it could possibly be. I didn't obviously end up using it because I was like, I don't even know what this is. 
But okay, so if you look at this and then you look at that, that is a different color white, clearly a different color white. So I thought when I ordered it, I would get the same color white. <laughs> so I'm super disappointed in, in that. I'm, I'm really disappointed that it's not white, but it's fine. I'm going to try to get over it. And then I bought the uh, star pack, felt pack as well. And again, not white. It's like purple gray. Um, but the... Uh, and I mean, the thing is, like, this stuff is not cheap, <laughs> right? I mean, Ali Edwards is not cheap. So, um, and the reason that I picked up these ones is because this is the album I picked up. So the album I picked up was this one. Let me actually back up my camera a little bit so you can see it. So um, I am not going to show you inside because I already have my foundation pages done. Um, so, but it does have the gold plate on the outside. And um, I do always love picking up her albums. I am a little bit disappointed too because this album has a big, uh, like, it's like the binding is like bubbling. Um, there's a big bubble in the binder, binder. The nice thing is they are sending me a replacement. So that is on its way and I will have my replacement soon. But okay, the other thing I picked up were the phrase stickers, which is something that I generally always pick up from her, from her. And I'm gonna say, also a little bit disappointed. Um, I'm not disappointed in the colors. I love the colors. They're like a good red and a good green. But the phrases that are on here, and I understand like you can only have like Merry Christmas so many times. But they don't even seem like December daily words to me. Like, worried about this. Um, learning this still. Don't tell me this last, this time last year. Uh, unexpectedly. I mean, I kind of, there's some of them that works like whoopsie, ugh. Like, unfortunately. Like, I mean, I don't know. That just. There's like no one in here that says like, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Like it's all kind of, and I understand she's a documenter, right? She's a storyteller. She's a documenter. But give us a mix, you know? I mean, like this one does have like a favorite carol, around the tree, favorite meal. Like this, the red one has a little bit more like holiday cheer, like that kind of stuff. At least this one has a little bit. But the green either even doesn't either. Like finishing strong, uh, not usually for me. Um, tell tell me all about it. Allowing space for this. Like I understand again, she's a storyteller, and she probably you know she, it's her company. She can do whatever she wants to. But I don't know. I'm just a little bit disappointed that they're not more Christmas focused stickers so I'm just going to show you too so one of the things obviously with this book what I generally do is I put these little um things in the front so each year for the last what three years I've been putting the little acrylic pieces on the front so I'm super excited because I think that'll look cute with the little heart and the, and the uh star I don't typically do that until the very end because I'm obviously pulling this in and out and um but I mean I've looked at my other December dailies and none of them have popped off. None of them have done anything, but yeah. So I'm super excited about that. And then I'm going to try to think I'm going to put this little guy on the side, but I'm not hundred percent sure about that yet. It might actually put it in the inside. I'm not, again, I'm not sure, but that is everything that I purchased from L studios, color cast designs and, um, Ali Edwards. Those are kind of my three go-to places that I go to when I'm looking for, December daily collections. So super excited. Obviously I have a lot of stuff that I'm pulling from my stash, old L studio stuff, old Ali Edwards stuff, old December, uh, even color cast design stuff. So if you are interested at all in December daily and want to check out, um, what I'm doing for the next two months, basically, cause every Friday, um, I'm going to do a kind of a leading up to December daily videos and then on 
December, I want to post a video every single day in from December 1st to the 25th. Actually, I think I have it scheduled for December 1st to the 31st. We'll see if I'll be able to do that, but that's the plan. So if you are interested at all in checking any of those videos out, please go ahead and subscribe down below that little red button. I don't actually think it's red anymore, but it says subscribe, click on it, and then um, you'll get notified if I, and then click the little bell, and then you'll get notified when I upload videos. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all. I will see you again next time. Bye for now.